Morning First Love family, Daily Devo's time, broadcasting from the upper room at First Love Church. Um, you know, this morning we're going to be looking at uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. And, uh, and it's good. It's really good. And I'm hoping that I will do it justice this morning. But uh, it goes like this. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor that you through his poverty might become rich. You know, it starts out, Paul says, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. So obviously he's talking to the church, right? He's talking to the church in Corinth. People have already been exposed to that grace, understand that grace. And while I'm sure there's new believers there that don't yet, he's talking to those that do. But with this um, devotional, uh, there may be plenty of people listening who really don't know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. But it kind of gives a snapshot of what he's talking about with grace when it says that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that you through his poverty might become rich. That's a demonstration of his grace right there. A small one, yes, but nonetheless a demonstration of his grace. And what does that mean? Though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor. And what it simply means is that uh, he was in heaven that's the ultimate castle, kingdom. That's the ultimate beauty uh, in an eternal world, an eternal universe. That is the most beautiful and precious and wealthy place that there could ever be. Heaven, with the Father, seated in the throne. You hear all the talk about crowns and diadems and jewels and, and gold. Yeah, he was rich. Not only was he rich uh, materially in the beautiful aspects and, and accoutrements of heaven, but he was rich in that he was in the, the presence of a complete and total trinity. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, all there, operating in, in unison, in concert with each other. Yeah, he was rich. He was rich beyond measure. Rich, rich in a way that no earthly man, uh, not, not, not any earthly man, not any wealth, not any of the elite could ever ascribe to the richness that he had. But it says, yet for your sakes he became poor. Why? Because he, he knew there was a need. He knew there was a need to, to defeat sin because he knew that sin was making us poor. You know, everything in the world that is harmful is a result of the devil. You know, why does God allow evil? Why does God... No, it's not about that. It's about we choose the ways of the devil because we are broken sinners. If we didn't choose sin, the world wouldn't be in the shape that it's in. If we didn't choose sin... There would be no BLM. If we didn't choose sin, there would be no, uh, any, there would be no uh, powerful elite taking our nation and our world to hell in a handbasket. If we did not allow and indulge in sin, there would be no child abuse. There would be no child trafficking. No, it's not God allowing these things to happen. It's our sin making it possible for these things to happen because we are governed by the devil. He says, uh, but for your sakes he became poor. Why? Because he didn't want to see these things. He didn't want the world to be infested and infected with sin. So he set himself in a position where he would be hung on a cross, punished for our transgressions, wounded for our transgressions. And by his sacrifice, a healing became available for us that we might defeat sin, that we might defeat sin. And, and so uh, we were poor. We, be poor, we were poor, but he became poor so that we would no longer have to be poor, that we, through that poverty of his, through the sacrifice that he made, we might become wealthy, we might become rich because we might enter into an eternal life in heaven also, our inheritance would dictate whether we were rich or poor. And if we're saved and we're living in Jesus Christ, then our inheritance is heaven. And so therefore, through his poverty, we become rich. Short one today, I know, but I think it's going to fuel you for the day. I hope so. 
I will see you again tomorrow. God bless you. Love you with all my heart. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this short but powerful little Devo, Lord God. Because he was rich and he gave up his wealth and became poverty stricken. No home, abused, persecuted, ultimately crucified and dead so that we might become rich, so that we might inherit that land, that world, that universe of heaven for our eternal home. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. An unmatched gift never before equaled in the history of the universe, this gift of salvation that you've given us. Help us to honor that and to love that and to appreciate that and to receive that and to walk in that, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See y'all tomorrow. Love you much. This is First Love Church. Welcome home.